Hey everyone, it's Heather here and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, I talk on everyday aesthetics, spirituality and shifting mindsets here. And if, and if you have already subscribed, then welcome back. So as I mentioned, and as you guys know, home aesthetics is one of my favorite topics. I have several videos dedicated to this uh, topic and uh, my apartment uh, tours are the most popular videos on this channel so far so i believe you guys love house tours apartment tours as well but what i also do love is uh to browse those different sites like like zillow and its alternatives in different countries especially i adore parisian interiors scandinavian interiors and uh, i have lots of you know bookmarks in my browser with those houses i get inspired with their interiors, exteriors, color combinations, and whatnot. And uh, I thought, why don't we uh, browse those houses together? This can be a kind of a virtual house tour. And that idea came to me and I thought, wow, yeah, let's do that. So let me know in the comments below if you like this video format. I can make more videos like that then. Uh, so yeah, this time I've picked uh, three houses on a Swedish site. It's very popular. It's called hamnet.se. Uh, Maybe you guys know about that site. So yeah, I've picked three houses. They all are beautiful, but different in this or that way. And let's review them. Let's discuss them. And let's get started. Okay, so this is uh, the site. It's called hamnet.se. And it's a Swedish site, somewhat similar to Zillow. I browse it a lot. I really love the Scandinavian way of building the houses and styling the houses. And I picked three uh, houses, my favorites at the moment. And let's start with this one. So, uh, the first picture, I must say that the pictures are amazing. I mean, the guys, they really try to make the most of the house or the apartment when they list it for sale. And we start with the living room in this house. Okay, the walls are the first thing I notice here. You know that they have uh, that special white color that is Stockholm white. And it consists of, as far as I remember, white, a little bit of grey and yellow mix, uh, and it looks amazing. It's not white as you might imagine um, in a hospital, let's say, but it's just the right uh, color for the home, in my opinion. And again, the curtains. We see the curtains here, they also are white and they're so white. And uh, one thing I would like to notice here is that they are placed right above the ceiling. So that is really smart, just because the whole room looks taller. You know, I noticed that some people, they place their curtains uh, right above the windows, but this makes uh, the space look not that tall. And in this room, it's just perfect. Now, we have that Scandinavian looks there. I notice um, IKEA stool and I notice that stripe, striped uh, tablecloth, you know, so very Swedish, so very Scandinavian. And I also love how the wall is decorated. And of course, the flowers. If we look on the table we see the flowers we see flowers on the wall on a painting and we also see a green plant in the corner so th this adds just that cozy living uh, feel to the whole room okay and that fluffy chair i mean look at that this is amazing now um this is the same room as i understand but from another angle um, the first image was like a dining area and now we move on to the uh, living area and you know it looks pretty minimalist pretty simple yet we see those details like 
first of all, we notice the color combinations. It's beige and gray. I love that combination a lot. And we also find different textures like a chair. And we also have linen. And we also have some mitts and uh, that fur uh, on the couch. And look at the window sill. It's decorated a little bit, but we can tell that there is nothing, you know, nothing strikes our eye. It, it all looks very harmonious. Okay, let's take a look even closer. And I want to uh, pay your attention at how the photographer presents uh, the interior. I mean, this is the house for sale, but you still have that feel that someone lives there, they have their style, they have their habits, they like certain things like those cozy pillows, you know, they maybe like to light candles that are standing on the side table. I mean, these images, they let you imagine yourself in that house. Okay, and then we have a close-up of the dining area. Oh, another plant on the wall. I love that macrame and those are... I'm, I'm not sure that uh, these are paintings, maybe. These are some other kinds of um, art, but I really love how it looks, how it uh, feels. And again, the details, the book on the table, the candle, uh, the plate. And at the same time, it's not very, you know, rich. It's not striking your eye with those fancy details. You know, the tablecloth you can buy anywhere, but it's so stylish. That IKEA chair, again, or oh, IKEA stool, it's very affordable, yet it looks so very stylish. Now they show us the patio. Uh, well, there is nothing special there, just uh, regular looks. But again, we see those cozy pillows, uh, the throw, you know, very, very cozy. Uh, and then they show us what they have outside, like that playground just next to their home. And we have another angle of the patio. Again, the combination of uh, gray and beige, and I love the floors here. They're so, uh, you know, old and at the same time so stylish. And I love those candles in the corner. Again, the details. And another angle of the dining area. Now we see the entrance door and uh, the staircase. Oh, and I wanted to pay attention uh, here to the floors and their color. It's not striking uh, yellowish, you know. It's a very muted tone that aligns all the elements. Uh, it, if it was my home, I would consider repainting the entrance door, to tell the truth, and the staircase, because I think they are a bit uh, different than other parts, other elements of the interior in this uh, house, but it's totally fine. At least uh, uh, it all seems put together. Now the kitchen. When I first uh, looked at this kitchen, I thought, okay, it's pretty old, you know, we can see that, it's like a vintage piece, but it's pretty neat and we somehow see those natural details. I mean, look at the uh, look uh, at the left corner. Uh, it's a wooden um, thing. I I don't know how to say it in English. I'm sorry, <laughs> I forgot the word. So that's the wooden piece you cut your vegetables on. Uh, it adds to the feeling so earthly, you know. Again, in the middle we see those tiny cabinets that are wooden. And all in all, it somehow looks very natural. And I see a piece of um, jute rug on the floor. I adore jute rugs, to tell you the truth. 
and we see partially the table. Again, the photographer wanted us to feel like at home. So again, we see the candle, the open book, maybe it's a cookbook. Let's move next. Okay, just imagine that you entered this kitchen, I don't know, put some, I don't know if it's onions or potatoes, I can say actually, but see how neat everything looks like. And uh, now we have a close-up of the uh, table, breakfast table. I love it so much. I mean, I love those uh, linen curtains and tablecloth. Again, we see pretty simple items that are very affordable, but I don't know, they create such a combination. I can look at this picture forever to tell you the truth. Um, next, we see, oh, it's half bath, I guess. Well, the mirror is very interesting, but as for the sink and the toilet, I am not really in love with it. But again, I see they tried. They put that gray towel there and that stylish vase with some dry flowers. Again, it looks really nice but i would say that the tiles are out of date and i would certainly change that and i would certainly change the sink i mean i don't like when you see the pipes and all that though those metal pipes they look very industrial and very stylish but the pipes that go the pipe that goes uh, down the sink uh, well i would change that but all in all it's okay now another angle so here we see that we can enter the patio right uh, from the dining area. That is very convenient. And I assume there is so much light in this room. Okay, and wow, this is the, the first uh, bedroom. Now, I just adore the color combinations in this house. I mean, look at that. Uh, linen, cloth, uh, and... Uh, pillow covers all in different uh, colors and we also see different textures here like that throw that is knitted and that teddy bear throw uh, in beige. I love how they match the picture on the wall with the uh, bed cover. Again, flowers, well, dry flowers and I see that's a real flower on the windowsill. The same goes here. We see that the curtains are very lightweight and they placed right under the ceiling, uh, which I adore. And look at that unusual lamp. I believe it's handmade, probably. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, another angle. Uh, I would say that the bedroom is pretty small, yet cozy and minimalist. Again, I love how cozy it is. Next, we see the bathroom. Okay, I would say that this bathroom is also a little bit outdated. We know, well, it's okay, but if I were to buy this house, I would certainly make some changes to it. And we have, I assume, another angle. Well, this looks much better. Again, I love the idea with the grey towels. I begin to think that I want to add more grey into my interior. Okay, but you see nothing special here. Of course, it's not perfect uh, compared to the uh, bedroom or to the living and dining area. But it's still very neat. Wow, and this is the kids' room. Okay, I see those uh, typical lamps, those uh, strange, like, paper-made lamps that are very popular, and I just adore them. And I have this uh, type of lamp in my apartment. It's made of, I believe, somewhat like rice paper. And again, look at the colors. I mean, if I were a kid, I would love to live in this space very very beautiful and again lots of light 
And at the same time, I see lots of items from IKEA here, like the table and the stool and the side table, and probably the jute rug is also from IKEA. But how stylish it looks. Now, oh, I guess this is the second bedroom, and I can tell you for sure that this rug is from IKEA. I had it in my favorites for years, but unfortunately, uh, they didn't sell the right size for my apartment, so I gave it up. And I should say that it's like jute with some uh, bluish um, woven inserts. Very, very good. Again, look how calming and at the same bright it looks. I love those pompons uh, under the ceiling. And again, look at that unusual lamp. I also think that is maybe handmade. So they basically maybe take some linen cloth or something and wrap it around the base of the lamp. Very beautiful. Well, uh, this mural, I guess this is the view from the entrance door. Again, very minimalist and I really like this mural. Pretty, so pretty. And now they show us um, the house, the exterior. Well, nothing special here, but again, it's not ugly. It's just okay. Uh, will they show us anything else? Okay, they show us how it looks from different angles. Pretty nice, pretty clean. Okay, and the house plan. Just like we noticed, it's the, here we have the hall. Uh, yeah, actually, they showed us everything. The kitchenette and uh, the dining and living area, as well as the open patio looks really nice. And on the second floor, those three bedrooms, I believe these are master bedroom and uh, two kids' bedrooms. Again, they didn't show us the hall on the second floor, but that's okay. So I really, really enjoyed. Oh, and they also have an attic, I guess. What is that? Yeah, probably that's an attic. Or it's a basement. I'm not sure. I'm not that great in Swedish. But Wow, they're a very spacious home. So, guys, this was the first house. I hope you enjoyed, and let's move on to the second one. And uh, this is amazing. First of all, I adore the view from the windows. They are so large, and those black frames, I just adore that. And <laughs> I love their lamps, and again, um, the greens, the plants, and the flowers here and there. It really freshens up the whole space. But the only thing I don't like here is the curtains. As you see, they are hanging somewhere in the middle between uh, the ceiling and the windows, but they somehow cut the space, and I don't like this effect. Uh, if it was my house, I would certainly move the, uh, the curtains up right under the ceiling. But all in all, it's pretty nice. And the view on the forest is priceless. Okay, the second image, they show us the living area. Again, I love how they uh, match the colors, how they combine the colors. We see black and beige. Um, and, uh, you know, somewhat like grayish white. And I also think that the walls are Stockholm white here. If I'm mistaken, let me know in the comments below. So, again, uh, I love the interior, I love the combination of the colors, but to my taste, this uh, living space is a little bit impractical. I mean, if there are several people in the room and they all sit down on the couch, I mean, they don't have an opportunity to talk to each other, seeing uh, each other's eyes. I would add a chair here, maybe, or something. But all in all, it looks pretty nice. Let's move on. Uh -huh. They have, they do have a chair here, but I'm not sure about um, if it's uh, really convenient to sit here 
well but I definitely think it's really comfy to read a book here and uh, I do not see any TV in this room so maybe they don't use it but yeah I I'm not sure I would spend um, quality time with my family here a lot something is missing but the colors they are pretty great and we have that image that shows us the whole room okay now let's move on next again they show us here a bit of the kitchen it's really small it's like a very small kitchenette but it blends in so so harmonious i mean yeah i really love how it looks and i also love that uh, picture on the wall i wouldn't even call it a picture it's more like a molding well very very interesting now yeah they show us the kitchenette here oh yeah it's it's pretty nice to have this one i mean you have everything here like a washing machine a stove the sink and uh, a microwave oven so yeah and i love the color it's like very very light gray so it blends in just perfect again the plants and now again they show us the details that's what i love swedish uh, rental sites for swedish photographers i mean they really emphasize every detail and on the left we see again a gray rug i'm not sure it's jute i maybe think it's cotton again very nice color and pattern but i would use something wider here certainly okay oh and that's an image with eggs <laughs> very unusual now okay here they show us the entryway and the kitchenette and i love how they divided the space with this plant maybe i would do it a little bit different but still i love how they matched uh, the colors and i love the color of the entrance door and the black frame on the windows it's just it's perfect and we see that black and white image these are moon phases i guess and that black and white throw so they matched everything even <laughs> the pillow and the pot of the plant they coordinate now okay here we see a bathroom i guess maybe it's a master bathroom i'm not sure um well i don't know what it is maybe it's only my thing but i don't love those large tile tiles in the bathroom I prefer those tiny ones you know and if I were to redecorate my bathroom I would certainly uh, choose smaller sizes and the color gray well I don't know I love it black and white more let's move next okay different angles and the details again well it's pretty nice but again it looks like something is missing here but all in all i love it again my favorite jute rug and jute tray um, on the desk but i would add maybe some shelves or i would add some curtain maybe to cover uh, the washing machine and the drying machine yeah and maybe some shelves let's move next well the shower it's pretty minimalist as i said i don't like that total gray look in this area but but it's pretty neat so why not okay they finally show us the staircase uh-huh so maybe we will go up now again this picture i love it i love black and white art and you see those um, square thing 
in the wall. I think it's somewhat technical for some, you know, technical stuff. Um, I would consider covering it somehow with maybe larger pillows or, yeah, maybe larger pillows or with a plant to cover it because it doesn't might match the, the whole look. But all in all, it's okay. And aha, uh -huh, they show us the second floor. I see that. What's that? A bonus room and a bedroom. So let's see what they have there. Mm -hmm. The bonus room. We see again the same color combinations and the greens and some lamps. I love how they distribute the lamps. So you may turn on the light or you may uh, turn off the main lights and uh, just uh, read, you know, or you may light some candles that are on the table. Very versatile, I would say. Now, uh -huh, this is the first bedroom. Here they add some sage color. I love it. I have a trench coat in this color and it's really beautiful. Again, a little bit of beige and gray. Well, I have never thought that uh, this combination would work, but it really works, at least in this space. Love it. Uh, again, the curtains. I assume they are from Ikea. I had very similar curtains once, but what I would do, as you already know, I would move them up uh, under the ceiling. So this would make the space more put together and more, uh, you know, the, it would make it uh, larger. Now, all oh, the details, I love the details, but sometimes the details are, you know, they're strange. I adore the window seal, just like how they put the, the plant and some books and the tiny lamp. But as for the bedside table, well, how would you use that vase? I mean, it's an empty vase. I would actually put some maybe candles and a book there. But okay, let it be that way. Oh, and a very simple closet. Uh -huh, they show us now the second floor, the view from the bonus room. Oh, I love that white color of, on the walls. I mean, it's so nice. And again, I love these muted uh, and pale color on of the floors. It doesn't, you know, strike the eye. It's very harmonious. And it's not that bold as it would look with the black floors, let's say. Oh, wow, the kids' room. Wow, I adore this lamp and that kind of maybe army green lamp so beautiful uh-huh if i were a kid i would love this uh, bedroom as well but the only thing uh i don't like is there are no you know curtains or shades i mean i don't think it's very healthy um because once the sun rises you have to you know uh, stay awake but it can be like 5 a.m., not very healthy. But all in all, the room is very minimal, yet very cozy. And again, I see the furniture elements from Ikea here. Okay, they show us different angles. Wow, I really love the idea to hang that jute rug on the wall. This one is certainly, I, I don't know, maybe I saw that one. Mm. at H&M, maybe, yeah, but it's just a great idea to hang it on the wall. Okay, let's move on next. Aha, uh -huh. here is another kid's bedroom, or maybe it's not kid's, but a teenager bedroom, so not so many, you know, toys here and all that, but this is certainly a kid's space. Yeah, I love it. And we see, again, some greens here. 
and that color combinations that I love a lot, like those cozy green throw and jute rug and that pillows. I mean, yeah, just look at that. Very minimalist yet cozy again. Yeah, I love it. And another bathroom. Well, I, I, as I've already said, I don't like this exact pattern. Uh, but they have it and uh, we can see that it's pretty new and tidy, so why not? And they show us again the first floor. Okay, now they show us uh, that tray uh, on the right. Uh huh. It's just an additional space to, you know, keep things like some ports and some books. Very convenient. And I love how it matches the fridge with its metal look. Mm -hmm. And finally, they show us the house itself. Uh huh. Yeah. So. This is pretty new, I guess, a new building. It's not a separate home, but still, look at that. Nature is all around you. And how cozy it can be in summer. I have, they have that patio there. Very nice. Okay. We'll uh -huh. I thought they would show us the uh, um, the uh, outlay of the rooms, but they didn't. Anyways, I enjoyed this house, and now let me show you the last house for today. It's very tiny, but it's very unusual. So let's move on to the last house for today. It's very, very unusual, that's why I picked it. And first of all, the house itself. It reminds me of somewhat British, you know, it looks like a British cottage to me, at least. So let's take a look what they have there. Okay, the first image they show us is the kitchen. Uh, well, I would say that there is nothing special about the kitchen, but at the same time, I love how they uh, insert the black color here. So they have that soup bottle on the sink uh, that is black. They have black oven, black labels on the bottles on that shelves, and that black part um, of the uh, shades. I mean, <laughs> it's really pretty nice, but again, nothing special. So what is special about this house is here. I mean, when I first looked at it, I was like, Oh, okay, so is that a Swedish house? But yes, it is. It is very unusual. First of all, those pink shades, like pink curtains, pink uh, pillow covers, pink pots. But at the same time, they add that gray colors, gray shades, black shades and beige shades. And somehow it all uh, looks like one uh, piece. I mean, you can feel some harmony in it. And look at the back of the room. Uh, first, I thought that it was a Christmas tree, but then I looked again and I saw that these are old school luggages. I mean, how cool is that? You, I have never seen anything like that but maybe they will show us a close-up a little bit later and for now let's move on to the next image okay this is the bedroom i assume and i would say it's a witchy bedroom i mean those black angel wings and those dry flowers on the left again white and gray and beige combination but at the same time on the left they have that little angel on the bedside table and that uh, silver pot with roses. I mean, again, they combine things that I would never thought uh, could 
match, but somehow they match in this space. Okay, let's move on to the next image. Okay, the bathroom. Okay, that chandelier <laughs> and champagne, or maybe it's shampoo in that champagne like bottle. I don't know, but it looks really cool. Uh, but all in all, nothing special here. Again, I would certainly pay much um, a little bit more attention to the bathroom in this house because I feel like they could do better. But again, that's okay. Another close up, I think it's uh, an image of the kitchen. Yes, that black soap bottle. I've noticed it. Okay. And here they combine two images the outside uh, legal patio and the staircase. Again, I think it's um, Stockholm white, but I might be mistaken. Looks pretty, uh, pretty nice, and I love that heart made of maybe old branches. I don't know, it looks like they, these are tree branches uh, painted in white. A very nice idea, I love it. Let's move next. Mm -hmm. This is uh -huh, this is the dining area. I think this is just another angle of the space we saw before with that large gray couch because I see part of it here. And this is like a very unusual dining space. Well, to my taste, it's uh, a little bit, you know, chunky and I don't actually see the harmony here, but uh, if we look at the whole space, we understand that this is how it's meant to be here. I mean, the owners of the house, they certainly have their own special vision and it somehow attracts you. Let's move on next. Aha, uh -huh. this angle shows us almost the whole space and it looks much better that way. I mean, we can see this large couch, um, but what I certainly don't like about this apartment, uh, about this room, sorry, is again the curtains. I just cannot believe, believe it, why people do hand eye curtains that way. I've mentioned it before a lot of times, and um, this watch on the um, between the windows you see they are huge I mean come on I don't think they match the style of this space but anyways it looks really really unusual but what I love uh, about this room is that a little bird cage uh, you can see it uh, on the right and they keep some pot with a plant I mean, yeah, that's interesting. And the cat, of course. Aha, uh -huh, they show us the close-up of this uh, fake <laughs> Christmas tree. How, how cool is that? I mean, look at that. It's so vivid and it strikes the eye. But uh, maybe, just maybe, I would add a large mirror here. I think the space, it it means a mirror, but yeah, let's move on next. Uh -huh. They show us a close up of the uh, bedroom. Have you noticed that uh, this house they just put their images like in a random order? That is a bit unusual, so <laughs> we skip from one space to another, but that's okay. Again, the close-up. Nice, very nice. And, okay, this is like maybe the continuation of the bedroom, or maybe it's a separate room, uh, which is like a huge closet. Well, it looks uh, really nice, uh, but, again, I would do a little bit I would do it a little bit different. I mean, I understand the style of the owners, but to my taste, uh, 
the items placed too randomly, if it makes sense. Let's move on next. Oh, this looks like another part of the kitchen or I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe this is the continuation of the kitchen. Let's move next to see what they mean. Oh, no, it looks like uh, it's a separate, like maybe a bonus room where they have, where they have another kitchen. Well, very convenient, but I'm not sure is that on the first floor or on the second floor. Uh, a very unusual thing. Uh -huh. And again, I'm not sure about this space. It looks like it's another open wardrobe, just another space. I love it. I love it. It's like boudoir. <laughs> I dreamt of having one someday. I love this old rug, by, by the way. I love uh, unusual rugs. They make me feel so, you know, cozy and so at home. Now, what they have here. Oh, now I see. Looks like it's another bedroom. Yeah. Well, again, a mix of old and new. I believe these uh, bedside uh, um, chest of drawers, they are kind of old, old or vintage. And at the same time, the stool looks a lot like IKEA. And this large mirror, uh, I love it. It's so simple, yet it's large and it stands out. I really love it. Wow. Uh -huh. This is, I guess, the second bathroom. I would certainly get rid of that curtain. I mean, no, come on. The whole house is so put together in a unique style, but this curtain, I don't think it fits. Now, looks like that is all. Oh, just look at the house. It's so adorable. I mean, like, it's like a fairy tale house. So, so nice. I adore that. I adore the exterior, to tell you the truth, a lot more than the interior design. Uh, yeah, this is another angle. And, oh, finally, they have the house plan. Okay, so the kitchenette, the living and the dining area, two bedrooms on the first floor, that strange space on the second floor with another kitchen and another bedroom. I believe that is, uh, it's really convenient to maybe rent um, the second floor just to have your own bathroom and your own kitchen. Maybe that's what they do, I don't know, but the plan is very unusual. Okay, let's, let me show you the house. Again, that's what attracted me in the first place. This was a very unusual Swedish house. This was the last house for today. So guys, hope you liked uh, this video. Hope you enjoyed those three houses. Let me know in the comments below. I will really appreciate it if you like this video format because I really enjoy it. But I want to create things that you guys like as well. So if you like this format, let me know. And if you don't like it, let me know as well. And uh, yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And also don't forget to check my Pinterest page and my Instagram page, because uh, on my Pinterest I um, have lots of uh, saved uh, ideas on mindsets, Reiki, spirituality, interior design, uh, fashion and whatnot. And my Instagram, yeah, I share my everyday routines from time to time. So I would be glad to see you guys there as well. Again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.